Here's the end of the day manifest, 229 orders. We went from printing the fabric to cutting the fabric, sewing it in rolls like this, and finally, voila. And then we packaged them. All right, so today we're gonna go through how my average day uh, looks like pretty much how a top 1% store operates. Usually we do about 150 orders to 200 orders per day um, on, on average. Our, I think our record was like 350, maybe 400. I, I don't really remember. But I think we can beat it this year because there's some machines that I'll show you in this video that we didn't have that I think will beat it this year. So uh, we'll see. But if, if you want to subscribe, hit the bell. I'll notify you if we have this Christmas season. So uh, first things, we got to get ready for my employees. Uh, we need to get all the stations ready. Every station must have whatever it needs. I want to make sure they have all the materials, all the fabric is printed, all the fabric is pressed. Um, I, and so that way they're working with the orders directly. All right, so the first thing I focus on is making sure that we have the fabric ready for my employees because fundamentally is if we don't have the designs, the fabric, we're stalled in whatever fabrics we don't have. So I use a sublimation method, which means I print it on paper and then I press it onto fabric so that it transfers the ink that's temporarily being held on paper onto fabric. And I'll show you the heat press in a little bit. So um, I print about 50 yards or, uh, per day or overnight, because I do it the day before, so that way it prints, and it takes about two to three hours to print 50 yards of design, roughly, give or take. I print it in this fashion is because I cut it in a certain way, and you guys will see that in a little bit. I love this machine because it has dual CMYK. For those that don't know, printers oftentimes print in sienna, magenta, yellow, and black, but this machine has dual CMYK, which means it has additional colors, like light sienna, light magenta. Not only magenta, but also light magenta. Not only sienna, but also light sienna, but then it also has orange and violet. And that gives me a wider spectrum of colors that I can print in to make it very vibrant, very popish. And I like that because some of the colors I, I print and design are really vibrant and I need that uh, access to those colors, so. All right, so this is my roll-to-roll -roll heat press. It's not like what you've seen before where it just presses down, but it, it presses from one roll to another. Right now it's being heated up and we want to heat it up to 400 degrees. There's a 16 inch oil drum that is being heated up and uh, it needs some time. In fact, this building couldn't provide enough power that um, it, this thing is needed, so I needed an additional voltage adder to, to, to uh, the electrical guys to install for me in order to make sure that this thing operates. So this thing is massively burly. All right, while this is getting heated up, we're gonna jump on the laser machine and get that station ready for our employees. All right, this here is Carl. <laughs> That's the only way I can make friends is just naming my machines. <laughs> what Carl does really well is he engraves, right? He's a 50 watt fiber laser. He lives at my shop. I don't need to feed him. Uh, so basically what the laser girl does, she comes here and puts the buckles in this little, these slots and they correspond to the files that are already ready for her that I will uh, prepare for her. When you think laser, you think complicated, but I try to do the opposite. All she has to do is plop, 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 and click on the right files, engrave. I'm kidding, it's a lot less exciting than that. All right, so we're good there. Uh, let me show you how we would label them because we have some buckles left from yesterday that we've engraved that we haven't yet labeled. Uh, so let me show you it right here. These are the orders that are in the same order as the, the labels that are printed. So she'll rip off one label and then she'll find the name of the buckle and she'll just go ahead and clip the order uh, slip to the buckle. So that way the order is tracked throughout the whole shop. Then we take it upstairs and we then go strap it. All right, before we go strapping, the heat press has finished heating up. We're gonna go ahead and jump on that. Press the fabric, cut the fabric to get it ready for the sewing lady uh, that's gonna be sewing the straps. And then uh, I'll show you how that looks like.
All right, for those of you that do know what's going on, I'm actually not using protective paper because the fabric that I use does not let this ink pass through the fabric. So that's why I no longer use transfer paper. tends to be a bit heavy you know but okay we got this here and what we're gonna do is I put them on these rolls here because it's easier for me to then cut it because I need to cut it all all around All right, so now I take this to the upstairs to where the straps are sewn. Oh, look at that sun, look at that, that's amazing. Pretty much got it ready for the lady that's going to be sewing the straps. All right, so this is my two needle uh, sewing machine. It has two bobbins, two needles, obviously two of everything. And it has two of these folders that fold the fabric. I do need to sew these designs. We are, we are out of them, so I'll show you what that's gonna look like. All right, now that we've finished our strap, this took me probably like five minutes, uh, which is the nice thing is it's gonna take us, you know, it's gonna take us a while for us to use this up. So production here is my biggest thing. So I put it on this side and the person on the other side then has access to this strap and cut for the whatever size and design that they need. Once this is filled up, we backstock it here. All right, so this is the other side. This is where they're all hanging out. And uh, we're, like I said, you can pull it out. If you need this, then you just, it rolls right out. All right, so this right here is uh, our orders that were strapped or, or labeled downstairs, kind of like what I showed you earlier. And we're almost finished with this batch here. And when the when she doesn't have the straps, she puts it in this bin. And that way I, in the morning when I do come in, I see which orders, uh, which designs need to be printed. So first we pull out the order and we see that the order needs a white small pumpkin. So I'll pull out the white and I make sure that I cut it. Oh, there's, so there's some imperfections that I got to watch out for small and like I said we have uh, measurements here all right so we got this orders ready to go and uh, the CNC girl is gonna be putting this straps and the buckles together and uh, I'll do this kind of throughout the day and uh, sometimes I'll have her do it if we're not that busy and so she works on this machine here mostly and uh, she has we have two machines so during Christmas time Oh, there's two people working on this, but during non-Christmas time, she works on this one mainly because she sets this one on the white thread because we mostly sell uh, collars that require white thread, and this one's set to black thread. All right, bam. All right, the employees are coming in, they're getting started, they're getting situated, and um, basically I don't have to intervene for most of the day besides the packaging, I do wanna help out on that. I'm gonna be working on miscellaneous orders, other shops and stuff like that. Uh, I'll be doing embroidery, and uh, so I'm just doing miscellaneous stuff. Now my employees asked not to be on the video, so here's a B-roll of their hands working. All right, so it's that time of day that we're gonna be packaging all these orders. We went from printing the fabric to putting them together, engraving them, and it is that time of day that we are going to be packaging. So let me go and show you how that looks like. So we use ShipStation to print all our orders. It's very simple. So we pretty much print a label with two barcodes. The top barcode is an action barcode, which means every time you scan it, it'll add it to the batch. And we're gonna print the labels and ship them all out because these guys are ready to go. So we printed the labels, it's time to label all these and get them packaged.
All right, now we got them labeled. What we're gonna do is we're gonna package them. The nice thing about getting the labels with the orders that several people can package it at once. So let's get these packaged. So some of you guys are probably thinking like, man, I wish I can get that much orders every single day. Well, you can. I took example from a lot of shops that did really well, like I talk about in this video. So go ahead and check it out.